Good morning, welcome back to day two in San Sebastian. This is, we just stayed in this hotel right in the heart of like what seems to be the old town. But I wanted to start the vlog now because it is currently, it is currently 8.59, it's nine o'clock in the morning and it's still dark. Morning. Morning. What do you make of San Sebastian? Our short time it's, that we spent it, here. It's cold, dark, and wet. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Spain. Here's Idaki. Taxi. Why is it so dark? Uh, <laughs> because it's Basque country. <laughs> we woke up this morning. We went, for, we went to a cafe for some breakfast. Yeah. And it's just like, it's dark. Yeah. Yeah. It's rainy, is that? <laughs> it's green. It's green, <laughs> rainy and dark. Yeah, and wet. It's beautiful though. I said yesterday, this is like the British Scotland. Yeah. Uh, you always such a for a better thing. Wanna replace me? I'm in a place that I've never been. It's worse than lonely. Can someone tell me there's a good in me? There's good in me. Cause I got doubts, I got doubts. We're at Orbea. We're gonna have a factory tour around Orbea today. This is cool. We're about 30 minutes outside of San Sebastian. That is a very nice bike. That's another very nice bike. Thank you very much. Do you know how we are starting this activity? What I know is it's a family business that started in the arms industry. So we are family started uh, making short guns uh, in 1840. Yeah. Uh, and they were making guns from 1840 to 1930, more or less. Okay. And uh, uh, in that moment, uh, there was a crisis and they started thinking, okay, what we can do with uh, these tubes and with machinery that we have and uh, thinking and thinking, uh, they start thinking about uh, making bicycles. One of the things that we did was to be with the Euskaltel team uh, during 20 years, yeah. uh, until the team uh, stopped. So from mid-range bicycles to high-level bicycles, we yeah. make everything here. Okay. And nothing, this nothing in Asia, all, all is in here. What we do in Asia it is the frames. The system or the, the process it is that we create everything here in Miami, so we make the uh, first drawings, uh, what we want to do, the, uh, the 3Ds, uh, yeah. all the drawings and everything about the um, yeah. bicycle. Uh, all the quality Design. testing it is here also, and then the mass production we do it in, in Asian suppliers. Yeah, that's it. And then we have it here, we paint it here, we assemble it here, and uh, we make all the quality testing here. So everything it is down here in Mayavia, and everything everything it is thin here in Mayavia. So now we're taking a tour of the actual factory. And what Joachim was telling us, what is that? Is that Orbea is a cooperative, which means every employee here has a stake in the company. The Orbea business model is a make-to-order business yep. model. So we try to create a Mayo bicycle, uh, a personalized bicycle for the user. We don't make uh, 100 bicycles, 100,000 bicycles and put it on the dealers. What we want is the final user to create his own bicycle. The final user step on the dealer and uh, looks uh, to the bicycles, looks to the models, looks to the different colors and looks to the Mayo. And he can choose on the Mayo the different uh, components, uh, colors, uh, even the ride that they want to do because uh, we have uh, gravel bicycles or uh, road bicycles, uh, yeah. uh, road aero bicycles, uh, uh, cross country enduro bicycles. They e choose the ride, they choose the colors, they choose the components, they choose the name that do, uh, they want to put on the bicycle and we beat that bicycle. For that we have here the uh, components and a spare part. Shimano, you just pick what you want, take yep. it off the shelf and put it on a bike. Do you think we could just take, yeah. take one? They wouldn't notice Tim. Yeah. Like, look how many there is there. There's so could... many boxes. No one will so ever this know. Is, is this basically what's, what's in this box? Yeah, that's it. The model is a Vector, right. uh, Vector 10, uh, red, red and black, red, black yeah. and this is all the components that it has. <laughs> and so you can just change in any one of those. Yeah. And the bloke, the bloke's actually ticked it off to say it's in there. And it is. We test here when we have prototypes, when uh, we have the first uh, production, and when the bicycle is already on the market. Yeah. Uh, for example, this machine, uh, it is uh, uh, making the pedaling simulation and this bicycle uh, is the Orca Aero and uh, we can be torturing this frame here for days and days and <laughs> yeah. days 
and try to simulate the use that a final user can make with the bicycle. Uh, and just try and break on, it basically. on his whole life. Yeah. yeah. Because we um, we give uh, lifetime warranty on every sure. frame and on every bicycle that uh, we sell. So, so, so that's what Cam rode yesterday. Yeah. That's so, it. So Cam's bike that he rode yesterday is being pedaled at 140 kilos. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And for sure, there are regulations, the European regulation that says uh, which are the tests that you uh, you need to do. Yeah. But we go over them, so we make even more make sure, with yeah. more kilos. With uh, you know, we need to be really, really sure that the product that we put on the market it is uh, mm. as mm, good as we can. Yeah. Uh, because we are giving that uh, lifetime warranty. Absolutely. Normally, when we have a um, final user request, uh, yeah. uh, normally, or when we have a final user request, uh, we have the friends over there, and the uh, we prepare them uh, over there, putting some stickers on the places that the um, the, the, the paint uh, doesn't need to go, and then uh -huh. we start first of all with the first layer, that it is uh, the one that you see here. It's normally white, and it is the the, the painting that covers. The bicycle, yeah, that uh, needs to be over there for the final painting that we are going to, to stick. Well, yeah, look so at how they've got the water fountain in her office for her. The water fountain, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know from what it is? Does it catch all the particles? Or? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So it is. Uh, what we try to do is to put uh, uh, only the uh, amount of paint that we need for the frame. Yeah. But sometimes, uh, you know, there are more particles that goes over there. So yeah. that waterfall, what uh, does is to uh, take or capture uh, everything. Yeah. And we are not putting water all the time. It is water that we recycle. And then we go with the color. For example, here what we have is a, a white color, not really spectacular in this moment. <laughs> but this is, these are the cabins where we uh, give the color to the to the frame. And once we have the frames painted, what we do is to put the stickers, the stickers on yeah. the bicycle. I don't know if it's the light in here, but the the bikes look really nice, shiny. You know what I mean? It looks really good. The bicycle that you can see here, it is unique. I mean, not only because it is a Maya, but because it is a manual process yeah. that uh, is done by, yeah, by no, our no men and women. Yeah, no, no, machine. no machine over here, so the only machine that you have uh, it is the oven. So every sticker, every Orbea name, every technology, everything is uh, put over there uh, really it's carefully and uh, and uh, unique. And they're all checked over and quality controlled. And yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, that's what happens over there. So how much of the frame can you personalize? Every single color, like how many different colors can you choose from? Well, yesterday I was doing the combination or the, the, the sum up of everything. And really you have, uh, for example, if you take the OIF, that is the one that uh, you can see over there, yeah. you have, first of all, 12 colors, then another 12 colors, then another 12 colors, so because one it is for the uh, front part of the frame, the other one is for the rear part of the frame, uh, first color, secondary color, uh, different colors for the uh, logos, uh, different colors for the fork also. So if you make the, all the combinations, yeah. you can have maybe, I don't know, 7 million or, or 10 million <laughs> combinations. That is a lot of choice of different bike colors, but I guess that way no two bikes are the same? That's cool. It's like a rainbow of bikes. Yeah, it is. You can literally have whatever you want. So then after the bike gets painted, it comes here. This is the Orbea gain in carbon. So it is the road, Orbea Rothy bike. Uh, this one is a Mayo uh, painting bicycle. Yeah. So you can see that the uh, final user has chosen uh, black and red color. Uh, he has put his name here. And here what we can see, it is uh, that we are going to assemble again M20i, that it is an Ultegra electronic. So it is on a medium size and here would, uh, it goes to France. And here what we have are all the components that wow. we are going to assemble on the bicycle. So this bicycle is ready to go to the assembly line and we can start assembling it uh, uh, when it goes to the process, today, tomorrow or whatever. But everything is uh, in here for this. So someone has, someone's gone online to Orbea and they've said, I want the new gain electric uh, in carbon road bike and I want the front to be black and I want the back to be red and I want my name on it and I want uh, electric Ultegra Shimano and then it goes starts over there comes all the way around here gets painted how he likes it and then hangs up on one of these racks and then one of your guys will come in and just build it yeah that's it this line where uh, everyone uh, uh, has different uh, different job and uh, uh, 
every of them make a different process or different part of, of yeah, the Yeah, so assembly. You, start, you start with a frame and then by the end here you end up with a bike. Yeah, for example here we can see the Katu, that is an electric uh, uh, city uh, yeah. urban bicycle. Yeah. Uh, over there it is the Keram, that is a, a mountain bike uh, electric bicycle. And uh, this is the e-bikes assembly line that goes from here to this uh, last part to be boxed and uh, to send it to a happy customer. How many bikes do you assemble and send out every day? Every day, it depends on the season of the year where we are. And normally per year, we make something like 150,000 bicycles. Wow. So that's like a full bike on, on it's just, a... It's just a full bike ready to go. It's yeah. cool that every bike has its own, its own little trolley yeah. with all the components ready to go. So if you have ordered an all-bear bike, you have probably have seen it today. <laughs> in, some for, in some form or another. Maybe. And that is a complete factory tour of the assembly of Orbea Bites. Done. 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 It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Really. Uh, Thank I you. Sure. And that concludes our short trip to San Sebastian. I'm heading back to Calpe. Tim's heading back to Blighty. Anything you want to add before we sign, sign off today? I'm yet to see the blue sky in Spain. Made it back to Calpe. Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow at 4pm.